Give him a whole ten for that? I don't I only have a ten and two twenties. I spent all I spent all my uh one dollar bills tipping for uh Sega Chick. We hit up Sega Chick after the uh on our way back up. Oh, Sega Chick sounds good. Any kind of shake sounds good to me right now. I they have this new this new shake. It's called like a cookie butter cookie butter shake, and it legit tastes like I'm eating an ice cream Survival. induced or like an ice like a sugar cookie, but an ice cream. Cookie. It was amazing. Okay, so we have Komoda versus Mikey. Mikey. All right, so you were right that you did have to play the winner of the MMP yep. Komodo's a Kirby and Greninja main, and from what I've seen, he's kind of playing both every set. Yeah. I think even when he played Pizio, he beat him with Kirby and then switched to Greninja and won again. <laughs> oh, really? So Komoda is actually on that come up of uh, being yeah, Pizio, he's, too. He's actually on uh, he's on EMU's team, coached by Jaeger. your host, Jaegerbaum. Yeah. So definitely like the sleeper of this tournament. For sure. First tournament first ever competitive tournament he gets fifth I said this guy's trying to be Sparky he took out Smasher already I mean look at this Sparky got fifth place at his first tournament ever did he yeah. no 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 no, no. Yes, no he did. did oh it was like a small it was still a weekly was it? I guess still yeah. a weekly but right now uh, Komoda not to not to discredit Sparky at all no but. not at all but Komoda having a pretty sizable gap about 50 50 percent right here Oh, that down smash out of shield too. Down smash has a surprisingly high hitbox for that type of move it is. Yeah, I would definitely have to agree. And that's one of those moves that you're never gonna see the Kirby really use all that much. So it's almost always fresh. It's a, it's actually a great follow up out of uh, Donna as well. Wow, he's just using that to punish everything. I mean, Mikey right there did whip an aerial, so he was in a lot of uh, landing lag out of his aerials. So the down smash was just the quickest punish he could do. Yeah. Because four smash does have a lot of startup, and it would have been kind of a. It had def there definitely was the chance that he could get the uh, could, could get a shield off. Down smash has to be like frame three or something. Yeah, crazy like that. All right, Mikey, looking for a way to get in. He is about one crown. He is one of about uh, one fair away from getting the kill, especially when he's got 80% rage. Back, throw. back air could take it. Yep, there it is. That is a, a back throw, not a back air. Did I say you, back air? You did, but it doesn't matter because both of them use her that uh that ash. Yeah. Keep it esports. Keep it uh, esports. Okay, so Mikey's starting to make a little bit of a comeback. Yep. But this is something that uh, Mikey, you, we were talking about Mikey when he was in the set versus Jagerbomb. He's all about this ruthless aggression type of style yep. of play. And it's he does not want to give his opponents any room to breathe. And with that, he's made up a pretty sizable uh, deficit to making it almost even. Yeah. With as light as Kirby is, I would say practically is even. Uh, a yeah. forwarder could take the stock at any point here. Yep. Almost got it right there, but he's been. All right, Mikey's got to be cute. I was saying Mikey's got to be careful with his get up right there because if he had done it, there oh, it is, the just crown. double forwarder. I was gonna say if Mikey get does a neutral get up, he's gonna get that smash, and then he yeah. very smartly just just rolls through. He just rolls through. You always want to be careful with the rolls though because if they read that, it's so easy to punish with anything you want. Mm -hmm. All right, but Mikey Lanesha up 1-0. Over Komoda. Awesome. And we got water. We got Viev being the goat. <laughs> He's still a little salty about that. Hey, man. You gotta help your commentators out. Though I'm thinking about doing it like big tournaments like Rebirth from now on. Just go and buy a case of water bottles for commentators. I think it's so so smart. Because, like, they're just. So the players there. start walking up, taking a water bottle, and. No, oh, it'd, yeah, be I it. it'd be so far behind this, like, this desk. Two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, go. Alright, game two. Running it back with Smash Bill. It's like we were saying about the previous set with Viev and uh, PZO. People counterpick right to where they lost because they know they didn't get outplayed by the stage. They got out they just want to prove them yep. prove it that it was just a mistake. So Mikey. Keeping uh keeping it even. And Komoda's keeping him honest. And that's something that you don't really see out of new players. 
new players tend to just kind of like fall under the pressure, especially when they're in these high stake scenarios like this. Because right here, what is this? This is loser's semifinals. No, no, loser's quarters. Loser's quarters. So, winner here is guaranteed at least fourth. Well, Komodo is no stranger to playing, you know, in a competitive. Uh, a competitive scenario because he plays with the EMU, te EMU team a lot, and you know that has Jaegerbaum on it. And Jaegerbaum is obviously pretty yeah. good himself, so this isn't like an entirely new um, situation for him. I agree, and he's doing just fine. Uh, he was down a, a he was down about thirty percent right at the beginning, but he's now only about ten percent down. So. It's anybody's st right now Ooh. to uh, take first blood. Oh, Ooh, right away. I don't think he knew. No. I mean, yeah. I don't think he knew. Because it, it's more of like if you played Brawl, like you knew about Mr. Saturn. I don't think it. Mr. It's shield, it shield broke yeah. melee. Shield, that's, that's been Mr. Saturn's uh, characteristic was automatic shield breaking. The mat, like the moment like he touches shield. But now Komoda's got it. Ooh. He knows now. He's he's looking. He's at the, he's at against exactly. him. Oh and no! He, he said, just he just threw nope. it off. Yeah, he doesn't want to risk it. None of that. <laughs> All right, but only a twenty percent. Uh, really oh, good. Good toad. That's something that I don't see Peach players use quite a lot is Toad. And it's so it, it, it's so good. It's it a very high risk move though, because if you whiff it, you're left open for a long time. But right there, Mikey used it as a landing option because he, he saw that Kirby was going in with a fair. And he's like, hey, I'm just going to Toad and you're gonna take 25%. Yeah. But Mikey, he's gotta watch out. Ooh! The scariest part about that is that Komoda was just about to start doing the forward smash. Yeah, yeah. They, you kind of see that it Kirby was, was like in the motion to do the kick, but because he didn't commit all that much, he actually no, he probably did take extended knockback only slightly, or maybe not at all. But he was definitely about to F smash. Right. Look at that, Mikey whiffs a grab and can still jab out of it because Peach has amazing jab. Like um, Peach's jab is just amazing frame data. I think it's like a two or three. I think it's a frame two, frame three jab. Almost looking like Donner is gonna kill in a minute. Yeah. All right. Even actually, a, an up air could do it. Or a uh, booty. Wow. Got a forward oh, smash a on whiff, the back air. A whiffed back air on shield. Takes it. Game three. Komoda. Putting in work. Komoda beats Smasher and takes Mikey to. Game, game three. three at the very least yeah. on his first you know what, tournament. You, you know what? We can't even like. Yes, we can definitely like say this is really good for Komoda, but we also have to think that Mikey. What is this? Mikey's actual fourth tournament of Smash Four ever. Um, I know he's gone to a couple gamers gauntlets like before he was officially back. I don't know if he entered them or not. He definitely didn't. He did. His first tournament okay. he ever entered upon returning was the one where he beat Low One, and that was this season. Okay. Yeah. I think Mikey actually may have finally hit uh, four tournaments. Mikey might be eligible for PR now. Guess we gotta add to that spreadsheet now. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go do some research to make sure he's actually been to four. But anyway, we got game three, and we got people who are fine who are like fighting to be top players. Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting, especially on Battlefield, where I think uh, this matchup comes down to who is gonna be better at uh, catching landings. And Trapping people on the platform is gonna be really yep. important as well. But from the way it's looking, I think Mikey is taking uh, taking that uh, that title by storm. Wow, he hits him out of the up B. <laughs> it, it's the disjoint, and he actually was out of jumps. He Mikey. couldn't he couldn't up B like he came pretty close to the ledge. He couldn't up B there. Wow. I think Komoda didn't realize that he had no jumps until it might have been too late. But he was definitely out of jumps. But Mikey saying, hey. That up, that forward smash you got on me last game, it does not fluster me at all because yeah. I'm going to lap you and I'm going to make you feel silly. Because look at that, right now, Mikey, Mikey's lapped him. Mikey has he's already more lapped than, him. He's more than lapped him at this point. He's double lapped this him. This is brutal. He is on Baby Park on like 150cc 
versing a bunch of bad CPUs almost, and that's how badly the Lappage has gone. We got Mario Kart Double Dash level Lappage. This, this Lappage is about as bad as that analogy. <laughs> wow. Um, Two stock in a minute and 33 seconds. To, uh, to quote the patron saint of Michigan, Destruction, D1. Destruction by D1. All right. I